Endicott College. I am JJ Sylvia welcoming you to another installment of Endicott College Field Hockey. And today we have a special presentation here as ECTV helping us out. So today we're live here on ECTV as well as ECGoals.TV and I'm joined by my partner Autumn Hendrickson. And today two big storylines coming in as leading Endicott into this one will be a two goal scorer from last game and Olivia Lampasona and Lamp was part of an offensive onslaught in the second half that resulted in a five nothing victory for the Gulls. Whereas on the other side now for the UNE Nor'easters, the real headliner for them is going to be number one, Lindsey Bruns, who last year had two goals for the Nor'easters in the 2019 CCC Championship game, which UNE ended up losing to Endicott. But today she looks to lead the Nor'easters who come in at eight and four to a victory that will be crucial as we head down the home stretch toward the CCC playoffs. And welcome in everyone high above Northfield. I'm JJ Sylvia, Autumn Hendrickson along with me. And Autumn, it's a battle of the Titans this afternoon. The two top teams in the CCC going head to head. Yeah, we're really gonna see a good battle here today, I think. <laughs> and obviously prolific scorers on both sides yeah. today. We have Sydney Poole and Olivia Lampasona for Endicott and then players like Lindsey Bruns and Bailey Lynch for UNE. Which side do you think has even the slightest bit of advantage on the offensive end? Um, you know, I would say that maybe uh, the Nor'easters have an advantage here because they have more experience. I think that some of our frontline players are newer, like Jenna Siebold. Um, so I think the experience for them might give them a, an edge here. And we're going to take a short break as we conclude with player introductions and the national anthem. We will be right back here on ECTV. That's not a characteristic of this goals team, so I, I suspect they'll figure it out. UNE with their first chance to execute a corner today. And handling the insert duties for them will be Katie Lindmark. Lindmark with a strong insert up top. Knocked down by Steves, she scores! Julia Steves with a huge goal for the visiting Nor'easters and UNE is on the board first. One to start the insert and the clock starts again. Lindmark up top for Lynch. Lynch had to corral it, fires on, they score! And once again, UNE benefiting from the penalty corner and they are up two nothing. A shocking start to this one here at Northfield. Offense, so really yeah. it's all about just getting one right now. A chance here for the Nor'easters and uh. a third tally of the afternoon and a second goal of the game on the board for Bailey Lynch. Three nothing Nor'easters and that is just a gut punch for the Gulls early in quarter three. The game clearly doing all right. Lindmark took that shot off her stomach pretty yeah. much on one of the earlier penalty corners. But there's a lot of fight in these Nor'easters. Wales, the stop, and the rebound is put in. And it's La Chapelle with the fourth tally for UNE. And the Nor'easters, after playing off their back feet for the last quarter and a half, I continue to it. pad yeah. their lengthy lead. Now 4 nothing in favor of the University of New England. Good on them, so. Up top, Steves. She has a goal off a corner already, a stop by Wales, and it's loose behind her, and UNE will add a fifth. And it looks like Lindmark had the goal. She's dealt with today, Katie Lindmark, <laughs> pads the lead even more for the University of New England, and with 118 to go, it is five nothing in favor of the road team, the Nor'easters. That is going to do it for us here today, high above Northfield and Autumn today for the Endicott College goals. The bounces just didn't go their way. Yeah, not only did it not go their way, but I, I think that they made some very costly mistakes. And I'm, I'm hoping that they will be able to bounce back next time that we see them here at home. I'm, I'm sure they'll come up with something, but definitely some stuff to work on. And we talked a lot about Coach Sapola today and her vast amounts of experience. I can't imagine that after a game like this, she won't be game planning meticulously for that next meeting against UNE, and I'm sure the results will be a heck of a lot different. I would not be surprised if she's already game planning. <laughs> We're going to wrap it up with that, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to ECTV today for our entire